Welcome to another video from Fix It Yourself. Today we're going to be looking at uh, IKEA Kitchen Maximera drawers. So uh, what I have here are uh, bottomed kitchen cabinets. These are 24 inch cabinets. Um, on the left here is 24 inch wide, 18 inch wide. This is an 18 inch wide uh, uh, garbage pull out with a uh, top drawer that has to be installed yet. So this is a typical top drawer and uh, that one's already been installed. This is a, a middle drawer which is a medium sized drawer and uh, then we have a bottom drawer which is a high drawer they call Maximera High. This one is a medium and this one is a small. So um, these have already been installed and what I'm going to be showing you is how to install these uh, using the um, IKEA <coughs> Maximera installation manuals which unfortunately have no text there's no writing it's basically just hieroglyphics and some um, pictures so you're gonna have to kind of have to go through these carefully page by page but I'll help you along and we'll, we'll actually um, take the boxes apart and do the installations for each of these uh, these drawers so um, the ones that we're going to be doing here are on this cabinet it's an 18 inch now this cabinet here, uh, 18 inches cabinet number three. So my cabinet number one is this uh, corner cabinet. That pullout is a number two. That uh, cabinet is a number three. And then coming over on this side, they label this cabinet four, five, six, and under the sink is seven. So that's how uh, the IKEA was done in the, in the plans here. So you can see when you go to IKEA, they, they actually will do the plans for you um, <clears throat> right there in the store. And uh, in this particular case, you can see the kitchen as I designed it here. And here's where they, they number the cabinets, you see. So the corner is number one, the pull-out's number two, next to the fridge is three, and then the bottom one there is four, five, and six. So we're looking at number five here. This one here with the drawers open is number five. So um, when, you, when you purchase this, they give you um, your list of items. And, and what's a good thing to do here is actually go through that list of items uh, and you, you're going to come home with a whole bunch of different boxes and the boxes and the material all have numbers on them and the corresponding numbers are what you're going to have to use um, to make sure that you put each, each corresponding box number with each individual cabinet. So in the case of say, you know, the cabinet number f um, three, which is the one we're going to be doing now, you can see that cabinet used to be 24 inches wide, uh, but I couldn't fit a 24 inch wide in there, so I ended up replacing it with an 18 inch. So looking at here, you look at all these numbers, uh, and then you get all your respective boxes numbers. And I, what I like to do is I like to put them all, all the boxes for each cabinet. Once I've assembled the actual box cabinet itself, then I put all of the boxes for the drawers and the drawer uh, fronts all inside each cabinet this way I'm sure that that cabinet has all of its respective parts so um, for example here looking at this one here this is a Maximera 7026567 and, and that's the same uh, drawer as the top drawer here for this number number five cabinet so this top drawer is the same number as that one so you see number five number five here it shows uh, the top front drawer so these are the door, drawer fronts, so you need those numbers, these are all Grimm's lofts. And then the actual Maximera drawers, there's the high, there's the low, and uh, there's the medium. So for the low one, that's the 7026567, okay? So that we have three of those, because for that uh, drawer cabinet next to the fridge there, you can see next to the fridge I've got three small drawers and then one large, uh, uh, one high, okay? And that's what we're going to be installing. So we can get to that now. We're going to open that box for that uh, <coughs> that uh, small drawer, that 5026565657. And that will be this one here, 7026565657. Okay, so we'll pull one of those drawers out in a drawer front. And I like to lay them all down on cardboard. So we'll open the box and put cardboard down. And then we'll start working and putting those all together. So I'll, I'll take that apart now. So now we've got the uh, box ready to, to take everything out here. You can see they got everything nicely, neatly organized here. So I like to pull everything out. Just everything out of here. Just 
just as they are. So these are the two sliders. Put them aside. That's the bottom of the drawer. There's your instructions. Let's put those out nice and neat. And there's your two drawers. So that's, the so that's it for that. Side, side, side. This, is this is your back. So the way I like to start is by looking at the instructions. So if you look here, this is all just uh, showing you where the sliders go for various different types of cabinets. Uh, the one that I had over there, on cabinet number five, is uh, with a small, medium, and a high, as I said, pointed out. In this case, I've got one, two, three. Um, so I'll be putting these uh, one, two, three sliders in that orientation and then the bottom one uh, just in that orientation, just uh, for the large drawer. Okay, so we put that aside. And when you look at this, um, you know, uh, instruction manual here that came with it, so essentially you're going to be looking at, you know, open this up, you'll see, okay, sliders, that's the back, that's the uh, soft close on the slider, so you need to make sure you got all your pieces. And they show you how to put this together. So you're just going to follow this step by step. So in this case, you're going to use those two side pieces and then you click the, the, the back piece there. And once that's done, then you slide in the bottom of the drawer. And once that's done, then we're going to open up the box for the, uh, for the drawer front and install those two um, brackets. And I'll show you some neat trick on how to remove those once, once they clip in because I had it happen that I put the uh, medium drawer on the on the on the large drawer, and I had to remove it and replace it. So it was a bit tricky, but I learned how to uh, to take it apart so that you can uh, you know in case you make a mistake you can you can keep the, the drawer. So it shows you how how to assemble all this. Okay, so we're going to follow this step by step. I'll put this uh, beside me there, and then we'll do it. Okay. So it's following the first step here, as they show. First step is. Uh, to take this and this piece, so I like to take this piece and this piece, and what they show is that you're going to have to take, I'm going to have to show you this because it's kind of tricky, so <clears throat> the way this works is um, this this uh, this part here is where the, the drawer bottom accepts into here, and so you see here there's like two openings, they got to line up here with these two squares here, here and here. So watch how that goes in, okay? You put that in like that, and you're just gonna click. You're gonna hear a clicking sound. Okay, it's gonna be a little tough to do here standing, but um, I'm gonna try to get that for you here. You're gonna have to hear a click. I'll maybe do it down here, it's probably easier when I'm standing there. So you have to kind of get that in there, and then hear a click. Uh, we'll do the same thing with that side. Put that, these two sides in. We should do a clip. There's a clip there. Okay, I didn't even try to get a clip on that one, but I guess it's in. So then, what you got to do is, you notice they show you here on this piece of paper, they show you this rough edge. That's the rough edge goes into the drawer and the smooth edge. Uh, is facing on. So there's my smooth edge, there's my rough edge. I like to kind of just, and this this bottom part uh, here, the groove, has to line up in these inside of this trap there. So you got to turn this over, rough edge facing that way, bed in like that, and then kind of just start sliding it in. Once you get it started, you can kind of tip it up and slowly make sure it doesn't move this way or that way. Slowly put it right in. A little tap there and that's in. That's perfect. Then you'll have a screw that you can put in here. It's one of the long screws. Then you've got this bag here with all your stuff. I like to open that up and, and keep all this up separate stuff separate here. So I'll get my scissors. I'll open up this bag and I'll keep everything here separate. Like that. Like that. On the last side. So we'll use that later. These are the soft clothes for these, and the way these work, I'll show you. So you have a left and a right here. So this side here, it tells you, this is the left side, you see L, 
and these will also be uh, uh, noted whether it's left or right. Uh, yeah, this one says right, so that one goes with this one. And this one here says L for left. You see the L for left? And this one says L for left. So you got to move that out of the way. Then you take this thing here, and it says that's the top. You see where it says top? So the top goes in there. Basically, that goes like that. And then you just pull, and it clicks right in, okay? So doing done one, see how it soft closes? Nice, so I put that away. The other one, same thing. Open this up. It tells you where it's top. And you go like that. Line them up nice. And then pull. It clicks right in. That's it. See how it goes nice and soft close? So now that I've got these, I put them aside. And then they'll go into the drawer slider later. So now the next thing we're going to do, after we've done this, what they tell you is we're going to then assemble here using these brackets and those uh, screws and you're going to mount them into the drawer. That little axis represents the, the writing on this door front. And so this is the door front, that's the writing. So let's move this aside. And looking at that, that's the way that looks like, and then you have to orient these in that, in that manner. So let's take these out, put one like that, put one like that, grab four screws, and my screw gun, and we'll get ready to pop these guys in, okay? So, we'll get one there. Go nice and slow, get it started, get the next one. Get them started right here and then I'll use my actual hand I don't want to strip these. Okay. and just give it a, a good turn, make sure it's good, it's on pretty solid, there, okay, now the way they show you here in this manual, if you look, they take this and they show you that this part here, the writing, has to go down and that part has to go up into the drawer, okay, so essentially all you're doing here is you're locking it inside of this unit I'm going to show you. So in here, as soon as you, as soon as you put it inside here, you see, I don't know if you can see there, but there's a little metal thing. As soon as you touch that, it's going to activate that spring and lock that whole drawer front in and it won't come out. But there is a trick to, uh, I'll show you. It's right here, you can see there's a bit of a star there. You actually have to lift that up. Once it locks in, that thing will move over and then you have to lift up this tab and put it in a screwdriver and lift it up. I'll show you how to put it in and then I'll actually remove it for you. So I can show you the trick on how to remove it, okay? So we're gonna follow the instruction as they show. Basically, take this with the writing down and then we're gonna lift that in there in the, in the spot and then just pop, see? Now it won't come off, that's the problem. If you put the wrong drawer front on and it's a problem, well then, there is a way to get that off. I had to learn the hard way, but essentially what you need to do is, if you look here, I'm gonna show you. You've got this screw here. You put it in that little spot right there and you lift it up that way. You put the screw inside, screwdriver handle in that way. And once you do, you can turn it. You see how I just turned it and the spring is moving. So that side's popping out. So now you gotta do both sides at the same time. So when I've done that, one side you gotta actually do both sides so you put something what I do is I just put something inside there and by doing that I just lock something in there there's one side and now you can do the other side the same repeat the same thing so essentially take your screwdriver lift up that tab get the flathead inside that vertically and then twist it and now look at that it just pops right off okay 
So if you ever made a mistake, there is a way to recover. There you go. So that drawer's in. And then I'm going to put that aside and we'll do the lower drawer next. And then we'll figure out how to put the rails in, okay? So let's put that aside here. Put that aside. Put these aside. This is for the upper. And then we'll do the same thing for the lower drawer. And those screws that are remaining, you might be wondering what are these for? Well, these are for installing the sliders. So we'll put that aside and we'll put that aside and then we'll open up the, uh, the large bottom drawer, okay? That's the one under here and we'll get that set up next. Okay, so now I've opened up the box for the uh, bottom large drawer and this one's got some additional parts, of course. Um, it's got a couple of side rails on there as well. That uh, ends up looking like, like that, actually the, the bigger one. Um, so you have these little side rails and I'll show you. That's these things over here and these things there will go together. So if you look here, you list all the parts, you go through, make sure you've got all the parts. I mean, IKEA's pretty good. I've never seen them missing any parts and at the same time they never give you anything extra. So you have everything you need. So you got to be careful you don't lose anything. I like to put everything aside so I have it. Um, I've already done one of those rails as I showed you before. So this is the other one now. Basically the same thing. You, you find the match left and left. You put the top on there, put it inside those two clips and pull and it's done. And so now those are two are ready to go. Got that aside. The next thing we're going to do is this. Remember, that's not the right way. You want this part to accept the drawer front. So that's the way she goes. That would be on this side. This would be on that side. So put that. Those two has to go in there. And then you're going to line that up. And you should hear a click. There's a click there. Uh, same thing with this guy, line that up, here's a click, same thing with this now, that's the smooth side, that's the rough side, grooves go down, on top of there, line them up, get them started, I like to lift it up, just make sure you've got them straight, put them down, and in here you should see this is your long screw I was showing you. So that screw has to go um, inside there. So but I like to be a little bit careful here because if you if you don't go exactly straight, you could run into a problem. So what I like to do is I like to use a nail or a screw or something to make sure that that uh, screw will go in straight and then just kind of give it a bit of a hammer. So let's uh, show you what I do. Either put the screw in there and then get it started so it doesn't go crooked and then you got to make sure you don't go crooked or else it'll come out the front or the back of the drawer which you don't want. You make sure you're going in straight. That's it. And then just give it a final little, oh that's the wrong screw there. There's a little manual. There we go. So that's the front part there. Now we're going to take the, door, the drawer front which is the drawer front here. And the same thing that we showed, take those two and put those clips on. So looking at, so we've just completed, we just completed that step and that step. And we have this, we have all this, we put the screw in. Now we're putting in the drawer front. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Because this is a bottom drawer, you're going to have to be careful that if you do what they show in this picture, your drawer won't go low enough and I had that problem on this drawer where it was actually finishing up a little bit higher and it was hitting the upper drawer here. You can't see uh, where I'm pointing to. Hang on a second here. So essentially on this drawer when I put it using their instructions I ended up with this drawer up here and it was hitting. It wasn't low enough and what I found out was that you actually have to do a slightly different than what they say. So if, uh, if I show you this they show you that this has to go like that. You see this side and that side of the bracket that points out. You actually have to use these two holes. Okay, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so watch me as I put this in. So I'm not going to be using those two holes like that. 
I'm, I'm not going to use that hole and that hole. I'm going to use this one and this one like that. See, and then it'll be okay. So that's what we have to do. So we'll get this guy started. And then this one, and just like that. And use it. Okay, and that's pretty solid. So then we'll do the next one, which is here. And again, the same thing. You want to make sure you use these two. Okay, those are the two you need, and you got to get those two on like that. Because otherwise, as I said, your drawer won't be low enough, and you'll be hitting your upper drawers. And that's what I found out. So the instructions are not always a hundred percent. They're actually they're quite good. But uh, there's a few things you'll learn the hard way. And that's why it's good to watch a video like this because after you've done a few of these, you'll learn and you won't make that mistake again. Okay, so we've got these two on nice. Now we'll click them in just as before and I showed you how to remove it in case. One of the things you're going to notice here, these, these drawer sliders are actually quite nice. This little thing here, once it's installed, this, by turning this, will actually slide the drawer this way and that way. So you can get some really fine adjustments on the drawers uh, just using these attachments here. So you can go left and right this way by moving these. And then on the side here, there's uh, some other screws that you can move the drawer up and down. And then on these larger drawers with these side rails, you can turn these to give the drawer front uh, this way and that way adjustment okay so it's pretty pretty fine adjustments you can get so let's put this drawer now into here and we'll click this guy on until we hear the clicking sound bingo that's it we've got this drawer ready to install uh, one other thing we should have done first is installed uh, what they show here and here so I'm gonna actually remove that drawer so it's easier and then we'll install what they show next here we're at this stage right now. So we've done all that. We've installed, installed those. Now we've, we've put that bracket on. And then they're showing us to install this. We, we actually should have installed these first. So I'll do that. I'll take the drawer front off, put those on, and then we'll put them back on, okay? And then we'll get started. We'll get back to that same spot. Okay, so I've removed the drawer front. And now, uh, again, just like with the bottom thing here, they show that we got to install these. But they're showing that you got to put the two screws in this and in this. But what I found is for the bottom drawer, you got to go in this one and in this one. So it's these two that you have to install in those two holes. Okay, so you're going to watch me do that now as I install those. So essentially, as I said, it's these two and not those two. It's like that and like that. Okay, otherwise you're going to have a problem. So we'll take our one, two, Three, four screws here. And pop these guys in. Let's put them up and tighten. Okay, so now we can pop that drawer back on. Again, I'll show you how that's done. You see, you got to get that guy lined up in there. These guys got to go inside that hole in there. You can see the slot. So if you get it right on, in the right spot, you should just click right in. Once it's on, it's on good. Okay, so now this part here, you're going to see there's uh, some clips here. So obviously, this little guy here is going to go on that side. So this is a, um, if you, the way you're looking at it, that's the right side. So let me turn this around here so we can see what we're doing. So again, this clip goes in there like that. Clips in there. And you can hear a click. And then you wrap that around and pop it in. There you go. And then this guy kind of goes right over. So now these little guys, the way they work is there's an open side and there's a, uh, a closed side. The closed side goes down. So you gotta go like that. You gotta slide that over this guy and then up 
and right down like that. And same thing on this side. There you go. And then again, the same thing with this. The clip goes in there. Click it in. Pop that guy in. Push those guys in front. And look at that. Simple. Just nicely done. And then you got these little guys here. These are just to close off your, finish off your hole there. Okay. So one goes there. Use this to pop it in. There you go. And this one goes here. Close off your hole. And that's that. After you've got all that assembled, they tell you you should put this bracket in. So they're showing you that that bracket should go in there. So they want you to put that in and then screw that and then secure that in. Okay. So what I do is I just measure here. This is like 16 inches across, so I go 8 inches. That's my center. 16 roughly. Yeah, so I go 8 inches right there. That's my center. And I line this guy up. Line that up there. Take my nail. And I give that nail a whack with a hammer if I had one. I don't, so I'll use this. All you're wanting to do is just get it started because that is pretty hard to drill a hole in it when you don't have it started. So with the screwdriver, let's get that hole in there. It's a little tricky here, you see? A little tricky. And you gotta get that started. And once you've got it started, then it's a lot easier to get it going. We got one, we get the other side. So you don't have to go too tight. To be honest, I don't even know why they want you to use this part. Okay, so I guess it's to remove. Now, if you ever have to remove this drawer, you have to remember that there's a screw on. So that little trick I told you, before you try to take that screwdriver and try to pop these off, you're going to have to take at least that one screw off. So now I'll give this guy a little whack here just to get that screw started. Let's see if I can put that in. I like to use this manual screwdriver for these fine things because you have a little better control with it. Okay, so now. I think the drawer is all more or less done and the next step is to install the rails. They tell you which rail height to put it in, but really you gotta go by you gotta go by this, okay? And when you go by this, you can see in, in my case here, um, we have small, medium, and high. That's for the, the drawer over there. Small on top, medium and high on the bottom. In this case we're gonna have three, so I think what I'm going to be using here is these three, one, two, three, and then the bottom one, so that one goes on the bottom. And that's what we'll do next, okay? We're going to come over here and we're going to show you how we're going to install it. Okay, so now we're looking inside the cabinet and we're getting ready to install the top right rail. Uh, according to this, it's saying that it's the, uh, you see here, it's showing the top right rail as 21. So it's actually the third one down from the bottom. And that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna go on the inside there and the, uh, both of those two are gonna clip in and then there's one there on the on the back outside so what I like to do um, because it's a little bit tricky is I like to uh, first take a screw and uh, run them through in and out and then this way I've already created the threads on it so one two three I go in nice and slow I don't go all the way and I come back out I do the next one, I go in, and I come back out, then I go do the last one here. This way the threads are already in, it makes for a much easier installation, I'll show you now in a second how that goes. So we take the rails that we had already prepared, so this one here, this is the top rail, I'm going to pop that in, and, and it is the bottom. That we're interested in okay so that one here so this one goes here now that I've got this lined up 
I'll put that first one in. I'll just get it in just just so it's going in a little bit to hold it. That's it. And then I'll back one there. I'm going to get it going. And so it's going. Because they're not exactly 100% lined up. And because of that, if you don't do what I just showed you, then you'll, you'll, you'll be making threads, fresh threads that are off center. So by doing this, you kind of force it into the proper thread hole like this. Now I'm just going to put the last one in. i got to get this out of the way. There we go. So I don't know if you can see that okay. Uh, hopefully this will work. See if I can get the camera up a little bit here for you. There, now you can see a little better where I'm screwing. So you see, this one is going to go in. So I don't like to use the, uh, the power ratchet or the impact driver just yet. I'll give that a good turn. Give that a turn. And then I can use my impact driver. Yeah, get that one. Same thing there. And okay. And then you can always just uh, hand tighten. Make sure it's good and tight. It doesn't have to be too much because you don't want to strip it. Okay, so that's the first one done. Uh, now we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll get it started, and then we'll put the, we'll put it inside on that side. Okay, we'll get that one going next. Okay, so now we're going to do the left side slider, and this is the top one. But what they don't show you is that on the top one, it's there's like all those series of holes here. You can see. These are the series of holes I'm telling you about. So you gotta actually use the bottom screw, otherwise it won't line up right. So I'm gonna put the bottom screw in there, get that lined up, get it just started. See how when I pre-drill, get the bottom hole lined up. Get that going there. Once we got that on, then we can use our impact driver. Put that on. Get that on. That's it. And again, you don't have to do this, but I like to just make sure give it a good manual, not too much. And there we go. So now we got our top slider in, and then we'll focus on the bottom one. So looking at the instructions, again, it shows number two, so that's the second from the bottom hole, and uh, it is, that's the, exactly the way you got to do it. So I'm going to get these guys lined up here. So there's one, and there's two, and here's our screws, and I've already got them all pre-drilled in advance, and let's try to put them in here so we can see. So I'll put one over here. And now you're doing the top, you see? Over there, we, at the top we were doing the bottom hole, but here we're doing the top one. Because you can't get to the bottom, there are no holes down at the bottom on there. But this basically just rests right at the bottom. So let's get these all lined up. And we'll pop these guys in. And we'll use the impact driver. Okay. Okay, so these sliders are all ready to go. Okay, let's try to put the drawers in. We'll see how they go. Okay, so now let's get the drawer. So basically, you just grab the drawer. You kind of put it on top like this. And you, you can just push it forward until you feel like a click. You can kind of pull it out. And it should go right in. See that? Once it's clicked in, it's, it's grabbed. And now... Now that's perfect. So now the bottom of the drawer here should be close to the bottom of the cabinet if you've lined this all up right like I showed you with that you know bracket. If you had put that bracket where they showed you, this drawer would have been up higher that much and then you would have been hitting the upper drawers. 
So let's do the same thing now with this upper one. Sometimes, you know, to make it easier, you can pull these guys out and then just kind of rest this on here like this and start pushing it in. Get a little grab. It seems kind of funny, but eventually it'll grab. There you go. See? And then removing it is kind of a little bit tricky also. So this one here seems to be a bit of a problem. I don't know why it's down so low. Hopefully I didn't get this one wrong. Okay, we'll see if I got that one wrong. Yeah, so you see what's happened here. This drawer here, I made a mistake. I put the two there and they should be, this two bracket should be on there. Okay, so I got to remove these four screws and then we have to reassemble this. So essentially what I've done, I've done this wrong. So they don't, you know, you got to be careful because you can, you can make a mistake here. So really it should be like this. See, this bracket's got to be lower. And this is the problem, and that's why it's not lining up right. So it should be should be here, this side and that side, not these two, like I made a mistake there. So that, that's why when you follow the instructions, if you don't get it exactly right. So now I think this is okay. We'll do the same thing on this side. It's okay, not a good deal. That's why it's good that this you're able to take that drawer off like I showed you because these things do happen so and it happened to me with the larger drawer and that's why I had to take it apart so now the drawer should be lined up correctly Click this on, so like I showed you before, the line goes up, clicks in, and again I'm just going to show you how I removed that because I had the problem. So you take your screwdriver, you see that little metal thing there that goes up? You take your screwdriver, you go up. Now there's a star there, you have to get the, vertically the screwdriver, and then it just clicks out. You see that? And that's all it is. It clicks right in. So that's a very handy trick to know to learn. Let's try putting this drawer back in again and see what happens here. Because we did mess that up. So now it should be right. I knew there was something wrong. That's okay. And now it's a little bit. Yeah. Should be good now. Yeah, it's very tight. Now if I need to lower this, there are adjustments here on the side, which I can show you. I'll have to zoom in a little bit. So here you see there is an adjustment here and I got the wrong screwdriver. You need a, need a Phillips head. So right here you just stick the Phillips head in there and this thing here you can see it's going up and down. You see on the left here on this thing here when I put the screwdriver it goes up and it goes back down all the way down. It goes up and it goes down. You know I'm turning in one direction and it just goes up and down. So you can kind of see where it goes down all the way to the bottom and you can keep turning and it'll go back up again. So I had a problem that it was too high. So I want it to go down as low as possible. When I see it coming back, I'll just back off there. So now, there you can see, when I, you can see now I got a bit of a gap. Okay. So if you want more of a gap or less of a gap at the top there, then that's where you need to make your adjustment. And likewise, if it's left and right, you see left and right between that drawer and the one next to it if they're not lining up perfectly then there is the side to side using this other adjustment here right in here and right in there you can turn this and the other side the same amount one or two turns and then you'll adjust the, the drawer left to right okay that works very nice to be able to adjust your drawer in, in, in every direction and then for this lower drawers or the middle drawer where you have these side rails, you turn, you pull, pull this guy out. And if you turn this here one way or the other, you'll be able to adjust this, this top in or out. And that will give you all the fine adjustments you need. That's why I love these drawers. They're pretty amazing. So we'll put that back. And, you know, you do all these fine adjustments at the end. But for now, there we've got the top drawer. 
the bottom drawer and now we just got to do two more like the top drawer and then that cabinet will be more or less done so that's it we've uh, assembled uh, fully now that cabinet and that's an 18 inch cabinet and we put all the Maximera drawers in so you can see here we've got the top drawer put in a couple of trays in that one and then middle drawer another middle drawer and the bottom drawer so all of them are working nicely I've, I've, I've adjusted them I might need to just tweak the top one a little bit to the left um, as I had showed you but essentially that's it I hope um, this is going to help you to assemble and install your Maximera uh, drawers for your IKEA kitchen and if you like this video please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching